Hello guys, in this video we'll learn how to implement dependency injection using Rust. So for the purpose we'll add couple of endpoints and we'll inject our dependencies. So let's get started. First of all we need a few dependencies so let's quickly add them. We need axiom for our web server, survey for serialization and deserialization with version latest and features as derived. Then we need Tokyo for our async programming with version latest and features as full. And then we need UIDs for generating some IDs with version latest and features as survey and v4. And then we'll build our project. Once our project is built, we'll move to Project Explorer and here we'll add a few Rust modules. So the first one we need is model.rs where we'll add our model and then we need a product repo rs where we'll add our repository so in the model let's quickly add our model so here first of all we will add our pro struct product which is the model we'll be working on today id as uuid and then we have pub name as string you can add more properties as well but i'll just stick to two and then we have debug serialize and clone on the top as attributes and then we have product data so this is what we'll be receiving in request and sending in the response pub name and it's also a string and here we just need deserialize so this is our model that we'll be working on with today and now let's go ahead and complete our repository so in the product repository first of all we'll add a trait which is product repo and send plus sync and here we'll add our functions so get product and self id uid and then we'll add option of product and similarly save product self and product product and now we'll add a uh, in memory uh, db uh, we can connect to a db as well but our purpose here is to learn about dependency injection so we'll just use a in memory hash map to store our products so we'll just do pub sysstruct in memory product repo and here we'll do pub map arc and mutex and then hash map uuid product on the top we will just do derive debug clone and default so this is our uh, you can say data structure for today or our storage for today and then we'll add a impl for this to implement or provide the implementation for both of our uh, methods so impl product repo for in memory product repo and we will immediately be asked for implementing the members so we'll implement both and here we'll just do self dot map dot lock and wrap dot get and pass id and clone similarly for saving the product we'll just do self dot map dot lock unwrap insert uh, user product actually dot id and product dot clone so basically this will insert our product to our db and here we just return unit and in, in this one we'll return option of product which is automatically the get returns in the hash map so this is our clean implementation of our uh, in memory repo this is our data structure for today and this is our trait now let's go ahead and see how can we inject it 
so move to our main now in the main first of all we'll add a struct app state and t for generics and here we can do product repo t so similarly you can also pass a db or an in-memory uh, data structure up to you because we are using generics so it's easier to pass as well if both are implementing the same uh, tracks and then we have Tokyo main here we'll create an instance of our repo in memory product repo default and we'll add our router so we'll say router new and here we'll do route product ID so this will just be get it, get product by ID and then we'll say get and then here we will uh, in a minute we'll complete this but let's quickly add another route which will be just product to create a product this will be post which will also complete in a minute and then we'll save with state app state and product repo let's uh, add the code for spinning this up and then we'll complete our uh, our uh, the handlers and we'll inject the dependency so tcp listener bend and we'll pass our address so as usual we'll use port 3000 await unwrap and then we'll print listening here we'll just say listener local address unwrap and axiom serve listener app await unwrap now let's go ahead and complete our uh, create product and get product so we'll just say async fn create product and here we will add our state T and JSON data and here we can say JSON of product data and then we'll say return JSON of product the product that you create and then we'll just say where as product repo so then we'll just quickly say let product product id uid new v4 because we are not passing the id in the request we are just passing that uh, the name so we'll just say data dot name and then we'll just say state dot product repo dot save product and then we'll pass our product and then we'll return json of product similarly let's add the get product and then we will inject so we'll just say async fn get product and so the first parameter remain the same and then path id here we'll pass the id and we'll get that product path and uid let's import the path and once we have that we'll say json of okay, it will be result of json of product or status code if we don't fill we'll just return some status code and again where t is product repo so we'll just say match state dot product repo dot get id and if there is some product 
will return okio json of product else will in case of none will return the error with status code not found so this is literally our handlers for our endpoints nice and clean and now let's go ahead and inject them here so for this we'll just do for get we'll just say get product and here we will say in memory product repo similarly create product and we'll just say in memory product repo that's literally all that we need to do for injecting and this is where we are using this is our product repo if you need the code please comment I'll just share the code and the git repo so now let's go ahead and test it so just open your terminal and here we will quickly do cargo run and there you go our application is up and running now let's go ahead and test it so let's test it we'll add a new HTTP request localhost and port is 3000 and we have slash product to add a product in the body we'll pass our json and here we just have to add the name of the product so let's say shoes and it's a post request so there you go we have inserted our product and we get an id as well so let's call it now new request http localhost port 3000 product and id there you go as you can see we get our product so that's how we can do the dependency injection in rust it's super simple and if you need the code just comment i'll share the git repository like the video subscribe to the channel share with your friends i'll catch you guys in the next video thank you